Scorpio, how's everybody doing? Um, when I was meditating on the energy, I was hearing the name Yuna. I know Yuna's a, a singer. I don't know if the word means anything, but I know it's a name. Before we get into the reading, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. It looks to me like <clears throat> there's solo work that you're doing that's leading up to you possibly connecting with other people or another person. I'm hearing tribal. I'm also hearing trivial. But I'm hearing it with a B. Mm. So we're starting off with we're starting off with the five of swords. Which can represent you feeling like potentially there's bad blood between you and another person. I'm I wanna see more. Yeah. Scorpio. What's the deal? Fight and words may have been exchanged. I wonder if this is just a situation or this is ongoing. So, Scorpio. Looking at Pisces. Is this something hidden? Something you haven't told people about? Something that hasn't happened yet? I rarely see the moon on the bottom of the deck. This may be something that you're kind of keeping to yourself, feeling a type of way possibly about something. And I mean, this doesn't have to be one person. This can be a whole frequency. This can be like a typecast. I'm hearing the name Eugene. Okay, I will say this. If you're focusing on a particular type of energy, you may be like even subconsciously like bringing that energy into your life. So it's like this, right? When, you know, when somebody is in love, right? And so everything they see is love because they just feel so happy and it's like nothing can really bring them down and they just like see through this frame of love and they're in their little pink bubble and just feeling that way where it's like they even see like paint drying on the wall and see it as being so romantic it's this lens this frame that we see things in um and if there is a state that you are in that doesn't feel particularly like lovely to be within and it's a space where you're holding on to something within you that it may be time to let go of whatever this thing is that you feel very focused on. That doesn't mean that this isn't, um, like, that doesn't mean this isn't valid. It doesn't mean, like, this person didn't hurt you or, like, you disagree with the beliefs of these people. Like, it doesn't mean that that's not valid. It's still very much valid. But there may be, like, so much of a focus on this that this is, like, the color that everything is being seen through. So as I said before, it's like, when you're in love, everything, 444, when you're in love, everything you see through, like, that frame is just going to look like, like, love to you. 
And when you're focused on the Five of Swords, things may all start feeling very much like the Five of Swords to you. And not like everything in totally, but in a way where you may be kind of like picking that out from the crowd. It's like you're being given a crowd that can show up in so many different ways depending on the lens and the frame that you're like seeing things through. And if you're focused on that, like that's what it is that you're going to be seeing things through. So this is also about checking in and being like, where's my state of mind? What's my intention space? Like, is it to be seeking out these energies? And if that's your intention consciously, then that's what it is. There's no like good or bad, right and wrong. It's just about awareness. Awareness, consciousness, light. But yeah, because of focusing on something, it may actually be like bringing up some sort of some sort of turmoil, but it's like it's not popping up randomly. It's popping up because like those are the glasses that we have on right now to be like spotting out the five of swords. But it's like, is that impacting you in a way now that doesn't feel good? And know that like this is also like part of your control, but it's. It's part of what you're, it's part of what's being manifested, but it's not in an obvious way. It's not you going around and being like, I'm going to just like look out for these particular people. It feels like something going on like very much behind the scenes, even like subconsciously. I'm seeing Mercury and Jupiter here next to each other. It feels very much like the mind frame that you're in is going to expand what it is that you see like manifesting and materializing for you. So it's about checking that, checking where you are. Because there may still be something potentially that's unresolved that is like leading you to like focus or fixate on something, but it could be something very subconscious. But how you'll know what this is, is that you don't feel at peace with it. That's the thing. You don't feel at peace with it. But you may feel in a way like... You could have had an experience where you felt like you were like potentially the victim of something. And so you may be taking like a really firm stance against against whatever this is or just like the, the energetic impact in print that this has had on you. It may be something that like until it's worked through, you can't really get away from it. So this is about um, bringing light to the shadow and what's going on. So we can understand it, so we can know it, so we can see what it is doing, rather than feeling like... Something is happening and it's beyond our control. Remember too, this can also be... 844. This can be somebody in your life as well. It always begins internally and then is vibrated, mirrored externally. Um, but for some of you, you may just be feeling right now like there's someone in your life or there are these types of people in your life that you keep seeing. So it's about like gaining the awareness and being like, but why does that catch my attention particularly? Like out of all the things that could be catching your attention, why is it this? Or it's like out of all the friends that I could be making, why am I making friends with people that are bringing this element into my life? Or why am I dating people that are bringing this element into my life? What do I need to work through with it? Because until we come to a place where like everything kind of comes in on the same frequency, it's like the things that stick out to us are the things that 
we're like meant to work work with There is resolution here. Feels like making peace with something or coming to terms with something that like maybe you hadn't been aware was there before. It was like something shifting around in the corners of your subconscious even that now there's like more of an understanding of this coming to light. As I said before, you may very well be seeing this replicated externally. Um, however, I'm seeing a major part of this be the internal process that you're moving through. And it's helping you, it's helping guide you in a direction where rather than feeling conflicting, conflicting feelings are at odds with something, it's about pushing you in a direction where you feel a sense of gravity, feeling in touch with something, feeling motivated by it, enjoying the feelings and emotions that it elicits, the bodily response that you have. Because I'm even seeing it be like, you're walking down a road and you thought that it was just going to be this one long road and now you're seeing that it veers off in two directions. And it's like one of the directions is like animosity and like internal conflict and all of this stuff and like it feels very unpleasant. And it's like then another road appears to you and it's like we can light the path and go down this way that feels like a much more like even joyful expression where like maybe we can still express something that we wanted to express but it's just like an aspect of the art piece that's coming together it's not the whole thing it's just one element so it's also about putting things into perspective here as well through the time that you have as you think and rethink about where you're going the path that you're leading yourself down and a change or a shift that you may be making Seeing the death card helping you out here. So the change, the change helps you overcome the obstacle, the transformation. When it comes to what you're focusing on, what you're working on. So I'm looking at Jupiter, Mercury, the sun. I'm looking at Jupiter and Mercury together. You may have um, like a conjunct Jupiter and Mercury in your chart, possibly, and they may also aspect the sun, potentially, or Jupiter aspects the sun. If they're conjunct, probably both of them do, depending on the orb. I'm looking at Virgo and Scorpio also. This feels like a very big moment of change for you where like something is being understood or like realized about self through self-reflection and like these underlying feelings kind of bubble up so you can kind of see what's going on something surfaces here for you that you're able to see and then pick the direction that you want to go in and it looks like because you're potentially going in a direction that is more curated more maybe in alignment more expansive for you it's also leading you through this transformation I'm also seeing you find support with like your guides or your spiritual team or like anybody around you, people around you or like things that you're participating in that allow you to feel seen and supported. And I'm seeing that also be important. There's this sense of like 
reconnecting in a way where you felt disconnected or pulled apart from something before. It's like a reconciliation, but not with a particular person. It's like reconciliation within your yourself. And it, it seems like this is also boosting your ability when it comes to discernment. I'm seeing a lot of Scorpio energy here. It seems like this is also about like not getting not getting carried away within like the Neptune sphere. It's about um it's about finding ways to allow yourself to ground. It's like when you get too too far into the clouds and you become ungrounded because there's nothing wrong with being in the clouds. Unless it is like at the detriment of your grounding. And so th this is a moment where it's helping you see like when you kind of get carried into that fantasy space of Neptune. And like when you need to kind of anchor yourself and pull yourself back down. Which is going to help you feel more at peace and more calm and that things are more clear for you as well. Because you may not have been seeing before that something was like very ungrounding. And now it seems like it gives you the chance to pull yourself back down. As you are making a move towards more peace, I'm also hearing the word sincerity within your life. This can also be talking about people that you're spending time with as well. Something is taking time to develop, but it seems like the more you are seeking out the path that you feel is right for you and in alignment with you and feeling at peace with that, looks like simultaneously there's a collaboration that is being manifested that has not come to fruition yet but it seems like something that's kind of like paralleling your path in a way that you're going to potentially be moving into or at least have the option of you working with this person and I'm seeing somebody very grounded and somebody very balanced that um, you may feel compliments your path and even like shines or sheds a light, but not in a way where it's like they're just here to teach you. This feels very much like an exchange where you guys would be mutually beneficial to one another in the path that you're on. I'm also hearing the path that you seek and I'm seeing something that would be a very um, dynamic exchange, one that feels very balanced and one that feels like it promotes growth and development one that feels very compatible as well where you feel like this person is showing up for you and you're showing up for them this person that you're working with i don't know how exactly they'd come into your life but it seems like they have a significant impact when they do seems like they also help 
help you like recover or restore some type of balance. This can even be a notion as well where before maybe like certain people that you'd been working with, you'd never really found like that right fit or that right balance and now this thing kind of rewrites that narrative for you where you're like, wow, this thing actually exists. I can really have this sense of like compatibility and balance and like everyone showing up for one another and this exchange that complements my, my growth and promotes that as well. This can be your chart or the, or the other person's chart. I'm looking at um, Pluto, Neptune, Aquarius. Yeah, once you get into this and once you start working with this person or exchanging energy with them, you're going to find out very quickly that this is something that gets things moving. It's like things even click or fall into place for you. It may also be something that ends up developing, too. This can be, like, somebody that you partner with, somebody that you work with, somebody that just, like, comes into your life for a period of time. And there's potential for it to develop into more. There's potential for... This to create stability in your life. Even feeling like the things that you worked through, it was all worth it because it got you to this point. With this person, it seems like where things are of a balanced nature. It seems as well like you keeping in mind and getting clear on like your standards and holding people accountable and all of that. This is a this is a moment where you don't feel like you have to negotiate on your standards and you feel happy that this was something that you reinforced because it actually leads you to finding that and it seems like with another person in whatever way it is that they enter into your life, depending on what you're looking for, whether this be like a romantic partner or a business partner or a friend, whatever it is, it seems like you find that thing that you've been looking for and it does absolutely meet your standards because you've reinforced that. It seems also like waiting for the right thing to... Because when you first come into contact with this person, there may be something that you end up realizing. It may not be something initially. It may be something that kind of has to play out in order for you to see where things go. And it seems like it would be more platonic in the beginning to help evolve it the way that it's meant to go. Because I'm even seeing there be like this recognition of maybe you potentially, like once you get into contact with this person, you may feel like there's something on the emotional front that you want to discuss with them, but you may actually hold yourself back from doing that to allow things to play out first and then potentially go in that direction. But that may come later on, actually. Seems like you have to size something up first and make sure of it. Um, in a mutual way, even. Pluto, Neptune, Aquarius, Cancer. Yeah, once you get past this point, I'm seeing that, like, something about what it is that you're feeling is going to be clarified for you, and you're going to know how to move forward. <clears throat> and then you can say what needs to be said. Okay, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing. And I hope to catch you guys next time.